Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, it's my pleasure to bring you a detailed, in-depth look at the all-new 2014 Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth view of the S63. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go for the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. And before we begin, I'd like to extend a special shout out and big thanks to Mercedes-Benz of South Charlotte, located in Pineville, North Carolina, for allowing me to come out and film the all-new 2014 Mercedes S63 AMG. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. As you would expect, the S63, just like the S550, comes standard with a remote smart key access system. All you have to do is just keep the key fob in your pocket, and you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle via the touch sensors on all four of the door handles. To lock, just tap the little depressed portion on the handle, and then after waiting a second, just grab the handle. There's also touch sensors behind, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. Locking the vehicle also automatically tilts in the mirrors, for easier access in parking lots. And if you fail to close the door all the way, there's an electromechanical mechanism that will automatically bring it back to the frame. Another nice thing about the doors is the fact that the new S-Class doesn't have a traditional type hinge that stops the door at a variety of points as you open it. What it does have is kind of like an integrated magnet mechanism, so to speak, that no matter where you have it open, it'll actually hold it in place, and it allows getting in and out of tighter parking spaces a whole lot easier. The exterior color is known as Iridium Silver, featuring a full premium black Napa leather interior with rich burl walnut wood trim. And along with that smart key system, the S-Class also comes standard with a remote push button ignition by the aluminum accented button in the dash. To start, all you have to do is just depress the brake pedal and hit the button to go. Beautiful potent sound. Now one of the first things that sets the S63 apart from a standard S550 sibling is the AMG Tune Dual Mode Exhaust System. It features an electronically controlled butterfly valve in the pipes that opens up in the vehicle's sport mode. It adds increased flow and a little bit extra horsepower and definitely a much more pronounced sound. First in the standard setting or comfort mode. And once you switch to sport, you can automatically hear the exhaust valve open. But more on that a little later in the video. Just like the S550, the AMG version also has two 12.3 inch thin film transistor liquid crystal displays in the dash that composes your speedometer cluster, as well as your infotainment system and navigation off to the right. It's custom tailored for AMG models with unique color schemes and also houses your driver information system. The S63 features a new electromechanical direct steering system specifically calibrated by AMG in a very unique and elegant classic style two spoke steering wheel. The steering system allows for a greater efficiency impact as it only requires energy while being steered. 
The benefits of a direct steering system is the variable steering ratio, which becomes more direct and responsive over the steering angle. It's sharper at higher speeds and more relaxed at lower. The steering gear and servo motor are mounted on a lightweight, rigid aluminum frame in front of the wheel's centerline. The wheel itself is trimmed in soft, supple leather, as is the airbag cover, along with perforated leather and heavier grips up top for AMG cars. It also lacks the wood veneer of the standard S550. Aluminum wraps around the airbag cover, highlights your multifunction controls, and tapers off across the bottom with the AMG script, replacing the Mercedes-Benz tag on the standard car. Among the many safety features we'll highlight in the video, the vehicle also comes standard with steering assist as well as lane departure warning that allows the new S-Class to partially drive itself at certain speeds. There's also an adaptive braking system that helps counter crosswind resistance, balance wheel load, and damping, not to mention a hold function that, if turned on, will keep the car planted at a stop without your foot on the brake. During wet weather, the brakes automatically work to dry the rotors in case of emergency braking. The system is also capable of full, autonomous braking at speeds below 31 miles per hour if a crash is imminent. Other features include self-parking both parallel and perpendicular, a night vision camera that can discern between humans and animals, and a driver alertness system if it detects drowsiness. As far as the gearbox, the 7-speed dual-clutch AMG Speed Shift transmission is standard with sport mode and paddle shifters, economy mode which increases the ratio spread of the transmission for better fuel economy, as well as a winter mode. It has two reverse gear ratios which are both used in winter mode. When activated, the car starts off in second gear for drive and the second reverse gear to limit wheel slippage. It's all controlled through the direct shift selector on the steering column. A new torque converter reduces slip with the addition of an auxiliary oil pump to help maintain pressure during stops. Combine that with new low friction components and low viscosity oil and it results in lower operating pressure. Once you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines that will automatically adjust as you turn the wheel. And something else that's pretty cool about the new S-Class is that it features stereoscopic cameras all the way around the vehicle for true 360 degree views. So right now we're on our backup camera screen. If we go up to the top, you can view the back, the side profiles, a front view camera, and even close-ups to make parking in tighter spaces a whole lot easier, especially for such a big car. Change it to 180 or 360 degree views, adjust the brightness all the way to the far right, and like I mentioned earlier, the backup lines that adjust corresponding to the steering angle. And we're going to flip on the adaptive automatic LED headlamps, as well as the hazards. Of course, all four windows are fully automatic, with laminated glass for better safety and noise isolation. And we're going to check out the exterior, shall we? The interior will also chime a few times, letting you know it's lost the texture of the proximity key fob. The Mercedes S-Class has always been referenced as the luxury standard of the world. It combines unsurpassed engineering with a level of refinement and technology that position it at the top of the luxury sedan totem pole. Each new S-Class that debuts is expected to raise the bar, to take the moniker to the next level with pioneering advancements in automotive technology. 2014 marks the introduction of an all-new 6th generation S-Class, known internally as the W222. The 5th generation W221 first debuted back in 2007 and was one of the highest selling vehicles in the segment with over half a million cars sold, so Mercedes obviously had their work cut out for them. An all-new S-Class sets itself apart from the rest with many automotive firsts. It's the first production semi-autonomous vehicle that has the ability to drive itself for brief periods of time, it's the first all-LED automobile, and it's the first to detect the road ahead to automatically adjust the shocks for rougher roads. Not to mention, all of the many S-Class specifics including many firsts in safety and functionality. In designing the new S-Class, there were three engineering paramounts, intelligent drive, efficient technology, and the essence of luxury. To live up to the brand's the best or nothing slogan, the new S-Class had to be a cut above the rest in just about every aspect. All in all, the new S63 weighs around 220 pounds less than the outgoing model thanks to a greater use of aluminum construction. Torsional rigidity has also been improved by 50%. For the first time, all the body panels including the roof are aluminum. Aluminum also makes up the majority of the suspension components and body structure, even more so for the S63. Lightweight, high-strength tensile steel makes up the majority of the passenger compartment for an extra level of protection and rigidity. Even the seats are lighter. The dimensions haven't changed much, an increase in height of 0.8 inches and width of 1.1 inches. The weight distribution has also been improved to 52% in front and 48% to the rear. 
AMG cars also have a lighter lithium-ion battery that saves approximately 50 pounds, while the spare tire well is made of carbon fiber. High-performance carbon ceramic brakes are also available that reduce brake fade. The chassis has been tuned with greater negative wheel camber, a larger rear anti-roll bar, and stiffer lower subframe. All-wheel drive is now standard for the US market, while European markets still have a rear-wheel drive option. The 4MATIC system puts a heavy bias towards the rear splitting torque 33% in front and 67% towards the rear by default. The styling represents Mercedes' new design language and an evolution of the style set forth by the newest generation CLS and now seen in the CLA. The smooth curving lines flow from the front to the rear and taper down into the bumper with an upswept deck lid. The styling looks more elegant and aggressive while keeping the classy stately appearance. AMG cars take aggression a little bit further with more aggressive fascias and side sills. Larger air intakes up front and a color contrasting lower splitter reduces lift. The rear fascia and diffuser is also accented by silver with the signature quad polished AMG pipes. Almost coupe inspired with the curves out back, the rounded rear glass actually extends into the C pillars. The tail lamps also recess into the body as the lines wrap around the rear clip. A bold new grille highlights the front with LED headlamps consisting of 56 LEDs each. Each tail lamp consists of 35 LEDs plus 4 for the rear fog lamps. All in all, the new S-Class houses nearly 500 LEDs without a single light bulb. The S-Class is a safety pioneer which references intelligent drive. This includes a set of new systems known as Magic Body Control and Magic Vision Control. Standard S-Class models feature the Airmatic Adaptive Air Suspension, but with Magic Body Control, the air ride is replaced by the Hydraulic Active Body Control Oil Lipper Coil Suspension. The S63, like I said, only comes in all-wheel drive for this year, while the Europeans still get a rear-wheel drive option. Although it is available for the S550 in the US, the Magic Body Control is not available for all-wheel drive applications, so it's just the standard Airmatic. But what really sets the MBC system apart are the car's twin stereoscopic cameras mounted above the rearview mirror that can detect bumps up to 45 feet in front of the car and preload the shocks for the upcoming bumps. It works up to 80 miles per hour only when the suspension is in comfort mode and the sensors aren't obstructed as in a snowstorm, fog, or inclement weather. The hydraulic system allows individual automatic adjustments of spring rates at each wheel to help keep the ride balanced and compensating for lifting, rolling, and pitching. Magic Vision Control allows the rain-sensing wiper blades to have integrated solution dispensers rather than cow-mounted washer jets. It disperses the right amount of fluid without temporarily obstructing vision. It also has programs for summer and winter modes with heated fluid. The stereo cameras positioned around allow the S63 to see 360 degrees to consistently monitor its surroundings. The stop-and-go pilot system with steering assist allows the car to essentially drive itself in traffic up to 37 miles an hour without intervention from the driver. It follows the vehicle in front and monitors the lanes. At higher speeds, the vehicle will keep its lanes on its own for brief periods of time if you take your hands off the wheel. The car will then alert you after 10 seconds to re-grip the wheel. Adaptive cruise and pre-collision detection systems are coming pretty standard this day and age, but what sets Mercedes apart is the level of depth that the systems command. The pre-safe collision detection system was first introduced on the 2003 S-Class and through the years has been tweaked to provide awareness and protection to all vehicle occupants. It automatically adjusts everything from seat belt tension, seat positions, headrests, sunroof, and windows. Distronic Plus, the vehicle's adaptive cruise system, provides the necessary data for the pre-collision system by monitoring traffic patterns and lane changes. It also has the ability to apply about 40% of brake pressure to assist in stopping if the driver doesn't react quick enough and can bring the car to a complete stop from speeds up to 125 miles an hour. New for rear passengers is Pre-Safe Plus, which tightens the rear seat belts, now have integrated airbags built in, flashes the hazards, and applies the brake to minimize vehicle travel with an imminent rear impact while the vehicle's stationary. When you enter the S-Class, the seat belt tensioners automatically retract slightly to provide better pelvis and thorax security, and reducing belt slack and possible travel in an accident. This S63 features a unique set of offset 20-inch forged 5-spoke AMG aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in Continental Contisport contact tires measuring 255-40 in front and 285-35 in the rear. Brakes are also larger, two-piece and cross-drilled and slotted ventilated discs measuring 15.4 inches in front with fixed six-piston calipers and 14.1 inches in the rear combined with a single-piston floating caliper and electronic parking brake. As I touched on, carbon ceramics are also available. Stopping distances from 60 miles an hour for the S550 is around 120 feet or less, assuming even shorter for the S63. As far as the suspension, it's fully independent with four-wheel multi-link setup and standard two-mode driver-adjustable dampers, a part of the air ride setup, 
or for the S550, the optional variable damper is part of the Magic Ride Control hydraulic system. Overall length is 206.5 inches with a height of 58.7 inches and an overall width including the mirrors of 83.9 inches. Total curb weight depending on how equipped is around 4,806 pounds. So we're going to pop the hood. At launch, the North American market will only receive the long wheelbase S63 with 4MATIC all-wheel drive and a familiar engine choice. Last year's all-aluminum hand-built 5.5 liter M157 twin turbo V8. It now makes quite a bit more power though while still being fuel efficient for what it is. The engine is direct injected with dual overhead cams, 4 valves per cylinder and intercool. It now makes 577 horsepower at 5500 RPM and a ground pounding 664 pound feet of torque as low as 2250 RPM. That's 49 horsepower and 74 pound feet of torque more than last year's offering. Top speed is electronically limited to 186 miles an hour with the manufacturer claims 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds. As far as fuel economy ratings, on premium gas at a 21.1 gallon tank, it's around between 15 city and 23 on the highway. The all new interior of the 2014 S Class fully embodies the essence of luxury with unprecedented levels of comfort, refinement, entertainment, and sport with AMG models. Not only for front passengers, but the rear seat as well. Everything evokes a hand tailored feeling from the soft Napa leather to the warm colored wood options. It's designed to make you feel more relaxed than you were before your journey started. To say build quality is excellent would be redundant. After all, it's what you'd expect to have an S Class. Most everything in the interior is accented in soft touch material or leather with color accent stitching and plenty of metal bright work. From the machine Burmeister speaker grills to the aluminum switch gear, it's all designed to work in conjunction together making the interior feel solid, premium and hand built. You can also control the sunshades from the front, a pretty nifty feature. All of your power accessories including your power mirrors and memory settings are located on the door. The redesigned seats are a multi contour design with a hot stone like massage feature. The panels across the doors and center console are also heated, keeping everything nice and warm on those cold days. On the doors you'll see all of your basic power seat controls including a power thigh extension, adjustable headrest and seat belts. The seats are also ventilated but work slightly different. Rather than pushing air out as you would typically see, there's a reverse fan that works to cool the seat faster for the first few minutes, whether it be on a hot day or after the seat heaters have been used, and then it pushes the air back out like normal. This allows the seats to get cooler faster when desired. All of the bolstering adjustments can be controlled from the infotainment system as well as the massage feature which I'll show in just a bit. Down below, unique AMG illuminated aluminum door sill plaques along with aluminum sport pedals, along with your power tilt telescope and heated steering wheel. Other unique features like I touched on earlier include the self parking both parallel and perpendicular, a night vision camera that can discern between humans and animals, and a driver alertness system if it detects drowsiness. The dash is a beautiful display of wood, aluminum, and leather, while the headliner is composed of Alcantara and a full glass roof. Now, I'll show this a little bit more during the interior portion, but there's also a built-in perfume atomizer hidden in the glove box. It dispenses your choice of four various fragrances that are actually formulated to not stick to your clothes or interior materials and dissipate quickly after you turn the system off. So let's get and see if she sounds. First, in standard mode. It's a wonderfully free revving engine, very quick to respond, just a hint of turbo whistle. Now switch it on over to sport mode. Immediately you know the more pronounced deep growl.
so we're going to shut her up. Beautifully tight panels. This S-Class features the upgraded Burmeister Premium Surround Sound System utilizing Mercedes front base design. By using the firewall and cross members as resonance chambers, the subwoofers are then mounted underneath the dash rather than in the doors. The mid-rangers are then moved up which allow for more indoor storage space. If that's not enough, there's even a high-end Burmeister 3D surround sound system with 24 speakers and 24 separate amplifier channels putting out 1,540 watts. It's easily discernible by unique tweeters mounted in the top of the doors accented by LED lights that rotate 360 degrees for the best sound. LED lights are also accented in the entire interior with seven different colors. It's a wonderful sound and audio system with a crisp, clean, powerful sound. Your Alcantara line visors, leather line grip handles, and Alcantara visors. Your LED vanity mirrors, also with a card holder. As well as an auto dimming view view mirror with a garage home link located down below. And in the top stack, you have a padded sunglass container, microphones for a hands-free Bluetooth telephone, as well as activation of your Mercedes Embrace emergency roadside assistance system. Your reading lamps up top, as well as the rest of the interior illumination. As I mentioned earlier, it is all LED. Part of your interior ambient lighting. And up front, the controls for your sunshades, as well as the sunroof. The front one up here controls just the rear sunshade. All one touch automatic. While the front controls the sunshade as well as the glass. It's not a sunroof that opens up and goes across the rear of the vehicle. It's actually like a big piece of glass that just acts as a vent to help pass air through. Now over the years, the Mercedes command system has undergone quite a few revisions that make it a lot more user friendly and definitely feature packed. The thin film transistor liquid crystal display, like I mentioned, is controlled via the little command controller mounted in the center console. There's also some manual buttons up here that also correspond to the different menus if you didn't actually want to use a dial yourself. But it's pretty simple. You just click up, down, left and right, push down to select an option, and twist back and forth between the different submenus. So, for example, right now we're in our, one of our media screens. If we click the wheel up, it'll bring up the system menu. So, up top we can select the different options. If you click the wheel down, it'll highlight in the middle if you just wanted to control your media. And then going all the way down, we'll select the lower set. So it's basically a three-tier menu. One, two, three. Down below, it shows all of your climate control data, your compass up top, clock, as well as album artwork. So if we go up to nav, brings up the beautiful high-res display that also features real-time traffic updates. Right now, we're in the full screen mode. If we click the wheel down, it'll bring up your navigation options, as well as the other options like I showed you earlier. If you highlight the middle, you can bring it back to full screen. Going to the bottom, you have your destination input. All pretty simple. There's also a back button in the center console, which I'll show in just a second. Current position, your traffic options, and then your route options as well as adjusting the orientation and what displays on the map. If we go all the way to the top and hit nav again, it'll bring up the different navigation options. But that's pretty much it for navigation in a nutshell. And if we go back up to radio, like I said, the vehicle comes standard with satellite radio as well as HD radio. And in this screen, you can scroll through the different area stations. Clicking down brings up your radio options where you can manually enter frequencies and your HD radio stations. Go between HD, radio, satellite radio, internet radio if you want to stream something like Pandora. Song information as well as radio station data. 
and your sound adjustments that will display in all of the different media screens. So your surround settings, balance fade, and equalizer. And for the Burmeister system it's pretty neat, there's almost like digitalized aluminum knobs built into the system. Clicking left right, back and forth to go between the different settings, and twisting the dial to adjust to your liking. Once in the media screen, if you select the option again, you can go between the different options. So you have iPod, auxiliary integration, there's an integrated hard drive, so I think you can store maybe around 10 gigabytes of MP3 files, SD card input, USB input, Bluetooth streaming of audio, a whole lot of different functionality, in-dash CD player and more. And down below, like I said, you can go between the devices, search songs, options, as well as your sound data. Your hands-free Bluetooth telephone will automatically ask you to pair it, and you can store contacts and voice dial through the voice recognition system. Now this is where you can pretty much customize every single aspect of the vehicle to your particular taste. So for vehicle settings, these are all the different personalizable options. And what's so neat is how interactive the menu is. Even on the mirror folding screen, the mirrors automatically tilt in, letting you know exactly what you're looking at. Like I said, it goes pretty in-depth. The ambient interior illumination shows up just about everywhere. Like you can see, it's going around the speedometer cluster. There's some here, there's some in the doors, just about everywhere, including the rear parcel shelf. And there's a few colors to choose from. Panel heating is another pretty neat feature. Just about every surface in the S-Class can be heated. So, the center console here and back there, as well as all of the door handles and the steering wheel, not to mention the seats, can all be heated. So whenever you get in the vehicle on a nice cold day, just about everything you're gonna naturally touch is gonna be nice and warm. Your seat settings is where the multi-contour seats really come to life, where you can adjust everything from lumbar to bolstering balance the seat heating, the hot stone massage feature, to basically encompass just about any body type. It's pretty amazing how detailed it really goes. Activation of your 360 degree camera, your owner's manual is built in, and your clock set. Now while in the telephone screen as well, if you hit the button up top there, it'll bring up the little world icon where you can adjust the phone settings, address book, access the internet, your real-time weather updates through Sirius Satellite Radio, current extended forecasts, as well as a map, and in a nutshell those are all the basic features of the command system in the new S63. That's just scratching the surface essentially, the menus just go on and on forever and it's so in-depth and it's an amazing piece of technology, you really just got to check it out and play with it for yourself to see how customizable it actually really is. To the left, in between the two screens you have the controls for your rear sunshade and this button right here that will actually lower, the headrests aren't really up right now except for the right one, but if they were up you could press that and lower it down for a little bit better visibility. The S-Class is also one of the newest Mercedes vehicles to adopt the circular air vents rather than the rectangular style found in the previous gen. They're beautiful, aluminum accent, very smooth, and you can open and close the vents via those little, almost like organ stop buttons. Elegant analog clock located front and center. Now the S-Class also comes standard with a dual zone electronic automatic climate control that's fully independent. All accented and knurled aluminum toggle switches, you hit the menu button down below there, it'll bring up the menu here that you can use to control with the command switch. So controlling the airflow and distribution through the vehicle, temperature, there's also an ionization feature, help purify the air a little bit more. For example, if you hit temperature, click the wheel left and right to go between the driver and passenger. Definitely neat. And you'd also control your perfume atomizer from here as well. Leather lines the entire center console with the accent stitching trailing into the rear. Up front here is your lighter and ashtray and door power outlet. And in the wood grain housing, 
You have a CD changer, your SD card input, as well as two cup holders. Also, LED lid. Although, like I said, are the manual controls for the command system if you didn't actually want to use the wheel. This one right here will bring up your seat settings. And then the one on the far right brings up all the vehicle settings. Your radio on button, volume, eco mode in conjunction with the vehicle's auto start stop feature gears the car for a little bit more economy. And with the auto start stop, every time you stop the vehicle, the engine will momentarily shut off until you take your foot off the brake where it immediately reignites and helps improve fuel economy a bit. Down below that, your comfort sport manual modes for the transmission. Comfort is geared for the most obviously comfort and economy. Sport mode increases shift times by about 30% and then manual mode allows for more full manual shiftability via the paddles like I touched on earlier. Your adaptive dampers for sport and comfort settings, as well as raising the vehicle via the adjustable air ride suspension. Underneath this little leather cover here is your dialing pad for your telephone, and it also controls your preset radio stations. Your leather lined center console with the AMG insignia embossed on top. With a good sized glove box lined in felt, with a little spot for one of the integrated remote controllers that come with the vehicle, AV inputs, your auxiliary iPod integration, as well as USB input. As far as the steering wheel, off to the right hand side are your radio controls, hands free telephone, and voice commands. Help. For which functions do you want help? Change disc. Select track. Search for music. All media player functions or voice controllable devices. Cancel. Cancel. So it's a nice pleasant voice and I'll help walk you through the system so you can get more familiar with it. And to the left hand side is your driver info controls for your information system located in between the speedometer cluster. If you hit the home button, which is right here, it brings you up to this screen here where you can basically control the same commands like you would find in the, well, command system. service reminders, your personalizable options, as well as your AMG mode, which brings up a little digitalized speedometer, what gear you're in, and a couple other auxiliary gauges. The driving profile for the transmission, traction control, as well as the adaptive dampers. All nice and easy to see in an AMG specific digitalized speedometer cluster. And of course, your automatic rain sensing windshield wipers, high beams and turn signals, and your adaptive cruise control located down below there. Wonderfully built cabin. So we're gonna shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. Back seat passengers are treated with just a wealth of comfort and luxury. There's a couple different seating arrangements available. This particular one has the fully adjustable rear seats, but you can also get some that have a thigh extension to pop up. You can get a rear seat entertainment system with screens built into the back of the seat. There's a whole lot of variability. Leather lines all of the door panels with a burl walnut wood trim, storage down below. All of your power adjustments here, including sliding, tilting, recline, and headrest adjustment three-stage heated and ventilated seats, as well as three-position memory. There's also built-in sunshades if you pull it up while the window is up. They'll automatically extend out. And like I said, for both sides. This controls the sunshade up here. And then the one next to it controls the rear. As far as the seats, they're extremely soft with all the right padding in the right places. And adjustable headrests that come out to cradle your head. Also trimmed in the unique AMG leather. Color accent stitching and illuminated aluminum door sills. Climbing into the back seat of the S-Class is like climbing into a large, luxurious, leather-lined limousine. 
comfort is absolutely fantastic. The door is shut with such a tight thud that you would expect out of a car in this class. And the interior room and space is just absolutely incredible. Over in Europe, they actually have a shorter wheelbase version, but the one that we get for America, like I mentioned earlier, is only the long wheelbase counterpart. But I'm about 5'11", and this particular car actually has the option of reclining rear seats. So if you use the door-mounted controls, it automatically slides out. You can raise the back up and down, as well as control the height of the headrest. So you can just kick back and relax. Easy access to a large center console here with two cup holders, a bit of storage down below, as well as a pocket out back. There's also some vanity mirrors up top, accented with LEDs. So really, I'm 5'11", and even with the seat extended out a bit, I feel like I can still kick my feet up and relax. There's so much room back here, so especially people over six feet, the back seat is absolutely perfect for taller individuals. And for a little first person comparison, like I said, I'm 5'11", plenty of interior room, your ambient illumination down there, across the doors, and if you look closely in the dash, you'll see it wrapping around the bottom portion of the wood. Air vents in the B pillars, coat hook, leather line grip handles back here, LED reading lamps, as well as a Bluetooth microphone. Of course, side curtain airbags in the rear, and a leather lined parcel shelf. Wood and leather center console with two cup holders. Storage down below in your storage pocket all the way in the rear. In your air registers with a little bit of storage and a 150 watt AC outlet. Wonderfully comfortable. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Trunk space in the S-Class is a respectable 16.3 cubic feet, plenty for hauling a couple sets of golf clubs or taking an extended vacation. As you saw, the trunk lid is fully powered as standard with polished entry guards and storage nets on either side. Down below the spare tire well, like I mentioned earlier, is all composed of carbon fiber as you can see. It also houses all of your jack and equipment up top. All of the same power adjustments, including the heat and ventilation and three-person memory that you find on the driver's seat. Lock open glove box, also padded, lined in felt, with a good amount of space, as well as the perfume atomizer. There's also a little air dispenser right there. When the air conditioning is active, you can open that up. It'll filter in cold air to keep things chilled. The Mercedes S-Class is a legend in pioneering technology. It's the benchmark to what other luxury sedans are measured to, and it's always something to behold with each new iteration. 
Combining prestigious power, refinement, and comfort, not to mention economy, the S-Class has once again reaffirmed its top spot in the ultra-luxury sedan market. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the all-new 2014 Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.